Okay, everyone. Hope we're all having a great Friday. So, um, today we are just going to add one um, additional thing to our scatter plots, and those are outliers. So, um, looking at all these graphs, what might they have in common? So, if you look at these, they have like these random points that aren't really with the other points. And we kind of had um, some of these on our graphs as well. So, um, like we had like this point way out here on number four. So that would be considered an outlier. So an outlier, so all these graphs have those extra points. So that is um, like all these points. So it's not associated with any of the other points that are on your graph. And again, those are called your outliers. Well, go ahead and take a, a possible guess on what you think um, this one, what you think an outlier might be. So an outlier is a point or value that falls outside the overall pattern. Okay, so let's do some stuff with this. Okay. So the following table shows an average annual income of males depending on their years of education received. So this is the exact same number one as um, the very first one in our notes as well. So with those, um, if you look at the, that table back from number one, our new table, sorry, I'm like flipping back and forth, has two extra points in it, okay? And those points are this one and this one. So basically, if you were to flip back and forth between both of them, those are the two um, points that the first one doesn't have on it. So we actually already have this original equation. We did this the other day. So if we look back at number one, so our equations, what's down here? This 7,293.72x, all that right there. So that's our original equation, okay? So if I rewrite that. Sorry. So y equals seven two nine three right point seven two x x minus four 
So for your new equation, all that you're going to do is add those points into your table and do it again. Okay. So using either Desmos or the calculator, whichever one that you prefer, um, go ahead and find the new equation. So because I don't have my computer open to be able to show you on uh, Desmos, I'm just going to go ahead and write it out for you. So that is y equals 0.41x minus 44725.09. And then we actually found these in class yesterday. So your original coefficient was the 0.98. So then the new one you should get as a 0.92. Okay, and I want you to graph this too, but I just want to save time on the video because you don't need to see me graph this because it's not going to be any different. Okay, so how did the outlier change our original calculations? So with our original calculations, you should talk about three different things because it could have changed three different values. It could have changed your M value, your B value, and your R value. So your M, your B, and your R. So looking at the M value, This went down, so this, um, and if you remember from when we were talking about what all of those stood for, so for every year of education, your income will increase by um, this much. Well, so it's not going to increase by as much every year because you're only, or you're not making as much because this one's 6,700. So for this, you're going to make, um, so let's figure out how much less that you would make. So let's subtract those 72.93.72. Minus six seven oh two point four one. So you are making five hundred and ninety one dollars and thirty one cents less with this one. Then our B value, so because this is, oh, did I, I think I forgot a number. Yeah, this should be 415. Hmm. 48415.20, sorry about that. So, because these are both negative, this actually isn't as much. So, 
we don't start with um, as much debt as what we did before, but um, that's not oh, necessarily a bad thing to have debt. So if we, again, negative 4815.0 minus So you are going to be um, so this is still negative still in so you're still in debt but you are saving that $3,690.11, which is because we're not going to use this money because it's not as high. And then for our R value, it got weaker, but I would still consider that a strong positive. Questions on that. Okay. So, I want you to finish this graph and then finishing all of the graphs in your notes then. So, after this, you should have everything completed in your notes. And that's your homework. Well, I hope that you have a good day, and um, let me know if you've got any questions, okay? I will see you all on Monday.